Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm personally doing fine. Surprisingly, I'm not as anxious or panicked as I usually am. So if you didn't already know it, I am currently a university student. Yeah, I've just finished my first year and I am now moving out of my first year student accommodation. I didn't upload last week because I was in the midst of packing everything up and everything felt very chaotic and there was works being done in the flats and it was like, I couldn't get a second to think to myself. And I think part of it was also a bit of laziness because yeah, I just had a lot going on. So anyway, now I'm ready to, to practically move out, just move the stuff into the car and move them into my new place. But I'm not going to show you that right away. I'm first going to... What am I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to sh show you through my little journey of packing up my flat. Um, so you kind of see me at all different stages with my acne at all different stages because I don't think I really wore much makeup throughout this whole video. And yeah, and if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you can check out an empty flat tour. Or if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can skip down to the chapters over there. Down here you'll see there's cha different chapters and one of the last ones will be the empty flat tour. So welcome if you don't want to stay throughout the whole thing. So I'll let you tune in to the rest of the video and I will see you, well, it's technically about a month, the whole journey. I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember now, but I think it took me about a month to pack up my stuff or a week, two weeks. I've honestly, I have no idea of how long it took me to pack up my stuff, so I let my editor put it in here how long it took me, but yeah. Okay, so we are now 17 days from me moving out, and yeah, the first thing I'm actually packing up is going to be my light. So I have the box right here, so good thing I kept this because I was like, between accommodations, it might be easier putting it back in its box. So hopefully I can pack this back into it. Gotta take a full cell tape. Luckily I, lo I lost, I used some cell tape that shouldn't cause too much damage to my walls. So I guess we'll see now the results. And yeah, so let's start dealing with this. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is, well, I think I'm gonna wrap each little um, fairy light. I found one who wasn't tangled up, so we'll start with that one. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, I think it's just off frame. So here is the very first one that I've curled up. Um, yeah, I'll check back in with you in a bit. It's only been held up by that one bit of salt tape. How insane is that? of light that I had a few minutes ago has now been transformed to this, so. <whistles> Moving on to the next lights. Okay, so I have taken off the LED strip from my bed, featuring the lovely sound of the rain going on outside. Lovely living in the UK. When I got my LED strip, my LED strip ended too far away from a plug point so I bought this thing that I didn't know existed so firstly it attaches to a USB but I didn't know this existed until I actually went looking for it so I was like wouldn't it be cool if I had one of these and it's a USB extension cord um, which is a really handy dandy thing to have so I'm gonna store this away with my lights for now but yeah and I think I meant to unplug this but I don't unplug it because it's literally so scary dealing with this because you're just terrified that it's just gonna break while you're doing it. Also the scary thing is taking off the salad tapes. You don't really know if, well, I don't really know whether or not I've damaged it to the point they doesn't work. However, I'm pretty sure I got this one for really, really cheap. So it's not as if it's that hard to replace. So it's a good thing that I prepared myself and kept hold of these little light boxes. So I have this little box that has a 
has my hair light in it, it has my LED strip in it, it has the extension to the extension USB cable. That's a fire truck. <laughs> I'll add into this same box um, my Alexa plug, my smart plug, and also my Echo Dot. Don't you dare. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, yeah, do I have any other smart gadgets? Yeah, my Apple TV. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So I'll add all these into the same cardboard box and hopefully it makes it easier when I'm unpacking it because I'll just know that I can leave these things till the very last minute. So that's how I need to think about it moving forward. Which objects of mine can I live a few days without? Um, yeah. And also what do I want to bring home to stay home? Because they're not really useful for me here or they haven't been useful for me so yeah I need to think about all these things moving forward when I'm packing and yeah so I'll let you go on to the next time when I'm packing something away okay it's come a time for me to get rid of another of my belongings not really get rid of because I'm not getting rid of it I'm just packing it away depersonalizing my bedroom which is looking more and more bland but hey ho here we go. So we're gonna pack this away into a bin bag and then we're gonna grab some stuff out my wardrobe and pack that away. Okay, the rug is in. Okay, the rug is in the bag. The rug's in the bag, yeah, the rug is in the bag and let's grab the rest of the stuff out my wardrobe. Now the top of my wardrobe is like way too high for me to be able to reach normally and I never thought for some reason to use a chair to store things in it. So instead I have this Amazon box that I cut up and I'm going to get this down and we're going to see. Let's take this, gosh it's heavy. Oh it's not too bad got loads of towels in it. Hot towels, regular towels and a pair of sweatpants and either workout top or leggings. I don't know, I've got it as a cold. So yeah, let's put this way. This is all we've packed for now. I also need to pack away my printer but first I need to, I want to make sure whether or not it, I can still use the copy because if not I'm bringing it home to get rid of it because it's really old and it now decides that it's someone to print black ink even though it's a full black ink cartridge so yeah but this is packed for now let's roll to the next one look what I received yesterday so I ordered some purple duct tape I'm gonna buy some pink one and then I decided to just get purple which is my other favourite colour um, so yeah, got some purple duct tape which means I can shut, seal whatever my box is and also means that from a quick glance I'll know that it's mine without having to look for an inscription because maybe I'm wrong, maybe my roommates will have like purple duct tape on their boxes but I think it's not that likely because I did have to go on Amazon to order it. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's a whole load of below on it. Like it's freaking purple duct tape, like how cool is that? I actually can't wait. Ooh. Are you not entertained? Okay, so right behind me on the sofa, couch, whatever you call it. I have everything that at this moment in time is going back to my mother's. I've got one bag, you can see right there, the orange bag, that has the tins that were underneath my bed. So I need to put the tins that are in one of those clothes over there in a bag and add it to this pile. And also put my coats in a bag all together. I've got the box that has my lighting stuff, I also want to put my smart gadget in which I'm going to shut that box last minute because I still want to use my TV which means still using my Apple TV, still using my 
and an echo as a speaker and all that. So this is where we are at this moment in time. Okay, so I've decided to hold on to my leather jacket, or well, fake leather, my gym jacket and a denim jacket because with the weather you can have here, it can go one of two ways or one of whatever ways. I can have a million different types of weathers in one day. So that's all cause me for that. And so I've got a tulip coat and a dressing gown or house coat I think it's moved for in it. So this is insane. And this is not all of my stuff packed up. This is literally just what's going into my mum's car. So we pick it up by her to move to the house. And so yeah, so this is where we're at right now. I still have some more packing to do for today. But I think this is where I'm gonna end the packing clips for today because it's just I think going through my drawers that I need to do and packing up boxes that I'll have my handbags in and stuff like that so yeah I'll see you next time but yeah so this is the checking the progress checkpoints whatever you want to call it of where we're at right now okay so this is it the day has come so this is all my stuff it is very much a lot and my mum has a small car so i hope it can fit and a few other possible boxes to fit into the car but they don't necessarily need to be put there it's weird i feel like Right now, my room is so depersonalised, it's like it's not even my room anymore. It's just a room with some of my belongings in, which I guess that could kind of it be my room, but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you in a few hours after my mother's left, and we'll see what we're left with afterwards. We are many hours later, and we're back, and as you can see, my lounge is empty of all the bags and stuff I packed earlier on so that's that my room honestly just feels so empty right now and so does my kitchen everything just feels so empty it feels sort of bittersweet because although I didn't live in this place for long because I was away for like five or six months because of covid and being locked down in my family home this was still like where I had a panic attack at halloween and where I spent most of my evenings with my flatmates in winter and yeah, loads of conversations and moments as random as they may be happened here in this linen space and it's just, yeah, it, it's all bittersweet now and I'm starting to really feel like sort of emotional over it. This is it, this is the end of a chapter and there's many more chapters to come and I'm disappointed I didn't start doing YouTube this year earlier on, like I was planning on doing it. I was planning on having my comeback to YouTube be September 2020, but then I first didn't feel comfortable doing it, and then just everything was happening, and it was like I felt like I needed to get a grip on what was going on around me before I started doing YouTube again. And I'm glad I started doing YouTube during this summer again. It's been nice just slowly build up this momentum, momentum is going to change come September or actually no, technically come October where I'll be starting to doing two weekly uploads surprisingly everything fit into my mum's account was a few extra things I had inside my bedroom that I didn't want to bring out because I wanted to be safe, I didn't want to bring a computer out in here, my old computer the thing is when you have expensive stuff you don't want to leave them out in the open for people to just be able to nap so just be safe and that is it. I'll see you all tomorrow for another little bit. It is time for me to put the clothes off my rail. It's currently like half ten or near about. I need to finish packing up. So let's get our life together. How did I do this? Oh gosh. Oh yeah. We did it. Let's see if I can lift this up. Oh gosh. <laughs> there. This big boy. Now I could have stopped filling it when we started overfilling. However, I refuse to admit that 
I've had four big bags full of clothes. So forcing everything to fit into this last one, which is my third bag, it helps me because, yeah, I just don't like the idea that I've got so many clothes. I'm surprised I've managed to fit so many clothes in the wardrobe, but... Here we go. So that's done. Now what else do I have to do? I need to get my suitcase down and put the little titty bits. Titty bits? Titty bits? Is that even a word? I don't know. I need to pack my books away, my protein powders, and the little titty things that you don't think much about, like this little teddy bear thing, or just my umbrella hanging around. But they're things, small things that all together take up a lot of space. I'm gonna go and use my inhaler and make myself coffee and then just carry on packing more stuff and the next time I'll check in with you guys it'll be I guess when I'm moving my stuff into either the lounge, the living room area or the hallway. I'm a bit unsighted on whereabouts I'm putting the stuff right now. It's also stressing out the fact that my camera is tilted and I can see it in the viewfinder. Ugh. Also my camera keeps stopping filming randomly so it's annoying me, I have no idea what's up with that I don't know if it's my memory card that's getting a wee bit full but hey ho Guys, I was literally just going to film for you guys but look, there's a fox I've never caught it on camera I've seen it, like, on people sent me photos of it but this is a fox that's literally in the centre of my student accommodation how insane is that? Oh no, it's going out of focus ah. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Aww Reminds me of my doggy. He's so cute. I really want to go outside and pet it, but I do realise that's probably a bad idea. I was trying to dig its way into the accommodation. That's so sad. Well, I hope it's sad and not like it's digging for a rat. I want to stay here watching it, but then at the same time, I feel like I'm intruding. Oh, it's behind the bins. Yeah, I can't see. I have no idea where it's gone. Mm, no, can't see it. Oh, it's over there. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's ooh, there's a big spider on my window. Hello. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the sofa angle. Sadly, I think this is going to be one of the last times I do this. Actually, this is like a cool film environment, so maybe I'll film somewhere like this in my new place. So yeah. So it's I think around half twelve. So it is in the middle of the night now. I do have um, bits and bobs that I need to pack away, which technically I should before I go to bed, but I'm tempted to just go to bed now because I'm bored. So yeah, so this is the stuff that's going to the house right now. I've got like my iron, shoes, I don't even know what's in half these boxes anymore since I've been doing it over the past few weeks. But there is a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff right here. Yeah, it's everything's becoming more and more empty and I think tomorrow morning. I'm gonna feel quite emotional. I do feel quite emotional now, but I feel like tomorrow morning is really gonna hit me. Um, because, yeah, I've been here for a year. And so. <gasps> There's two foxes now! Oh no, did I miss it? What the hell? Why is there two foxes? Look at that. There's two of them. Two peas in a pod. I definitely wasn't expecting to catch that on camera. <laughs> I just saw it and I just had to show you guys. Once the whole flat is empty, I'll do a quick flat tour, empty flat tour for you guys. So if you come here to check that out, then yeah. That is insane. And my last night here, I actually see the foxes. Literally, the whole time I've been living here, people have been like, oh, I've seen a fox, oh, I've seen a skunk. And I'm like, I've never seen them, but people take photos of them. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And like last night here, I've seen two in person. That's so cool. And they look so cute. I, I'm not sure if you, how well you can see them on camera because it is dark outside. But like, yeah. Aww. I'm gonna drink, go drink my coffee, wash my face, and go to bed. This is my room. I have a yellow silver room. And yeah, this is the wardrobe. There is actually a lot of space. Mine don't look like it, but it is a lot. Total roll there that I need to bring down. Um, 
yeah so i have a three-quarter bed which is also alternatively known as a small double and i have a long desk three drawers two shelves and a bookcase which personally i don't think i ever use as a bookcase and then there's a bedside cabinet right here lovely little view that i had to deal with yeah this was my room oh and here's my bathroom so you've got me in the mirror again and then you got the sink the loo and the shower which is an electric shower and this is my kitchen slash living room so i've got stuff that don't belong to me there you've got all cupboards normally you have like two cupboards and a drawer to yourself and yeah some nice minute stuff uh what is it a five piece suite corner couch sofa whatever tv that's naff window that gets to the courtyard and a big fridge freezer um yeah well i feel emotional now um okay so it is now it's now an hour and 20 minutes until i move out and i feel emotional definitely i've got my bags packed up in here that contain the stuff that's going back to my mother's place like my bedding i've scrubbed up up the whole flat and i've yeah finished packing up my last bits it's a bit insane but we finally managed to do it all and that's great so that was it i'm now well by the time you're watching this i've moved out and hopefully moved into my new place i'm not sure exactly of when i'm uploading this that is it for this week's video and i will see you next week with my moving in vlog yay if all goes to plan of course but barring that i'll see you all very very soon bye Hi, my name is Luke, known online as Z21GamerLuke, and I edited this video uh, this time instead of Maddie editing the video. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to say it was great fun to work on uh, this edit. I hope you guys uh, liked the uh, result of what came out. And if you're interested in any of the stuff uh, that I do, uh, I'm sure Maddie will be more than kind enough to leave a link in the description uh, of what I do. Uh, if you want to just come on by, check it out, uh, see what I do. Greatly appreciate it if you stop by, because I too am looking, uh, getting back into the swing of uploading as regularly as I can. I sort of did that over the summer, but I've kind of been busy over like, the past few days. So yeah, if you could stop on by, that'd be great. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, yeah, see you guys whenever. <laughs>